It's my Aunt Effie. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about a most delightful book. And I just want to make sure you know if you're new to this little um, YouTube channel of mine that I read a lot and I love to talk about books. So when I finish reading a book, I like to uh, do a little book review on it. It helps me remember what I've read because I do read a lot and I can forget what I read. But it also gives me an opportunity to share the book a little bit and maybe there's somebody out there would like that would enjoy discussing it with me a bit. So the book I recently read and I'm going to talk to you about today is another book of short stories by Stephen King. I recently reviewed a book of short stories of his called Skeleton Crew that was published in 1985. Now this one is published in 2020 and it is called If It Bleeds. Well, of course, it was wonderful. And um, one of the things I did while I was reading this book is when I found a sentence that was just too good to be true, that just sent me over the top, I wrote it down so that I could share it with you. And I have a couple. So one of them, uh, this is in a short story called uh, Mrs. Harrigan's, Mr. Mr. Harrigan's Phone. <clears throat> the rest of the week, that hair went every which way. <clears throat> like Einstein's, Excuse me. <coughs> okay, let me try again. The rest of the week, that hair went every which way, like Einstein's, after a busy day of deciphering the cosmos. <laughs> Isn't that great? You know how they always have Einstein's hair going, ah! It was perfect. Okay, here's another one. It's also from uh, Mr. Harrigan's phone. There are ribbons of tinsel and sweet smelling swags of fur that almost overcome the more permanent aroma of pea and bleach. <laughs> okay. All right. Now there's uh, one more I have for you. There's a the back story here is that there's a woman wearing a pink dress and she is like the neighborhood gossip and there's little this little boy who wants to know some back story on his family that's kind of hush hush don't talk kind of stuff and so he goes over there sits down uh, she's given him uh, cookies and milk and they're sitting at the table and he is um very, um, he, he's doing a very good job of pumping her for information, even though he's just a child. So she finally decides to let it go. And she leans forward. She leaned forward, her wrapper giving Chuck a view of a bosom so large, it seemed hallucinatory. I've seen bosoms like that. Okay, well, it was so much fun. There was this one story called The Rat, where King mentions a book that he read, or the protagonist of the story in The Rat read a book called Magus. It was by an author called um, Fowles, I guess you say his name, F-O-W-L-E-S. And I was so pleased to see that book referred to in the story because I've read The Magus and it's a wonderful story too. Okay, so I read that a few years ago and it's so much fun when he mentions these cool books in his writing. So, I loved it when he uh, was publishing under the pseudonym of Richard Bachman. Have you read any of the things he published under that name? They're really good. I, I just loved Richard Bachman and I was years and years ago looking around for more and more things that I could read um, 
by him, and it took me a while to figure out that he was actually Stephen King. So it wasn't a surprise once I figured it out, but I definitely enjoyed those stories too. So I'll probably read all of these again because they are so good, but um, I guess that's all I want to say to you today. I This is my Aunt Effie. I'll say goodbye. Um, just a little message to be happy and read something. See ya.